My name is Christopher Rensing. I went to the U.S. for postdoc. I already knew a lot of Chinese from when I did my postdoc. A lot of people were from China in my lab. When I came to the U.S., yeah, I was introduced to Chinese culture. It sounds funny, but that's how it was. My friend, Zhu Yongguan, he's the director of the Chinese Academy of Science, Institute of Urban Environment in Xiamen. And so I already knew him before and we joked around and then I said, well, can I come to Xiamen, uh, work there? And then he said, no, no, you can first come as visiting professor. This is my lab very early in the U.S. Uh, Wang Gijiao. Mm. And then finally I moved to Fuzhou, to Fujian Agriculture and Forestry University. And I'm a distinguished professor of microbiology here. Well, I work on uh, how microbes or bacteria deal with metals. So that's important for environmental remediation to make uh, the environment better again. Also, but also has medical implication because our immune system uses metal to kill the invading microbes. Actually, my collaborator at uh, Fujian Provincial Hospital, she was one of the first to set up the mobile hospital in Wuhan. So then the paper, we wrote up the, the experiments I helped to translate and make the paper better. Then this the same team went to the Philippines and then made a handbook of the experience of China, how to deal with COVID, and I also helped to translate that. Most people in China, they don't know they think this is just a scooter because there's only one disabled student also here on this campus. So I asked him, what, what about other disabled students in, in China? He said, most stay at home. I hope I can inspire, give courage to other Chinese disabled students that they, you know, they can study, have a career and things like that. Some people, they think the vaccine is not tested long enough or something, you know. I cut it as quick as possible. I thought better to do this than to end up intensive care unit in a hospital. <laughs> the taste is very similar to our, our bread. In Denmark, also the US, you go to work and then after work, you have your private sphere. But China is more like a family. Like you do more things together. Yeah. My birthday, for example. So we went to have hot pot and then <laughs> KTV. And 